Hi folks, let's have a very quick video here just of a, a new feature we're building out myself and Maria uh, over the last day or two um, for uh, paragraph types or you know uh, page layouts that you can have them full width of the screen or slightly contained and we can add background colors and things like that. So this is a, your standard um, subsets overview page with the, the, the usual blocks that we, that we know. So if, if we were to add say a new uh, subsite overview page and We'll call this one uh, with background colors. Uh, we'll ignore the summary and things like that. The banner will stick in a secondary banner because it's a bit quicker than the primary banner. And down to the good stuff now. So on the page builder tab now, when we're adding a new item, we've got two different options. Oh, we can't actually see them there. Um, Okay, we'll pretend we can see them. This first one here is called advanced and the second one here is called uh, basic. The basic is the, the, the page section um, layout that, we, that we, we've we all been using for, for the last year or two. The advanced one is this one here, which has some new options. So you can choose, for example, a two column layout, like we always could, but then you can choose the width of the section. So do you want this, this section to be the full width of the screen, the full width of the screen, but the content will be uh, contained within the center area of the screen. Do you want to keep it the same as the content area, which is what we currently have, or do you want to have it breaking out slightly from the, the content area? So let's choose full width of screen. We'll say the background color we want is an accent color. So whatever the accent color of your website is. And we want to put um, a small bit of padding on the top and a small bit of padding on the on the bottom. So it means that the, the instead of the text or the content bumping up across at, at the top of the of this background colored section, there'll be a small bit of extra space with the with the background color filling that. So we'll click save here. Um, and we see we've got these options now telling us that the width we've chosen is the full width of the screen and the background color is the accent color. So let's put in just two uh, two text blocks here. <coughs> so the first one, um, paragraph text in here. And the second one, we have the same paragraph of text here. And I'll click save. And we can see now we've got this um, background color here and the text goes white and the background goes goes blue but it hasn't gone the full width of the screen the reason it hasn't got the full width of the screen is because we've got a sidebar so any pages that have a sidebar all the content will always be contained within this area here because we don't want it kind of going out over here but not over here and we don't want it overflowing the sidebar and um, and blocking off what's 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 um in the sidebar so we'll come back to edit this and we'll say that we want to hide the page menu, so this is going to be a full width page now. And you can see now that this takes up the full width of the screen uh, with the background colors, color set and a small bit of padding top and bottom in this area. Let's have a, a, a brief look at the other sections then. So if we go to page builder and we'll add another uh, two column section here. And this time we'll say that we want it to be the full width of the screen, but we want content contained. We want the uh, color to be accent also our kind of our secondary color from our palette and uh, we'll say we want medium padding uh, on the top and the bottom of this one now I'm going to add the exact same uh, text in just for for speed so two two uh, text components both with one paragraph of text in them and we'll save this and now we've got two part two uh uh, layout sections with different background colors and different widths. So this goes to the full width of the screen and this keeps the content contained within the content area. Um, we'll create another one or two here just very briefly. So we add in another advanced page section. And again, we'll go with two column. We want this one to be the same width as the content area and we want a light gray background and we want to have large padding on the top and the bottom. And add in our Text. And save this one. So here you go. So you, you can see now there's extra spacing, more spacing on this than, than there is on this. Uh, and then, then we, we can also add another one if we want to have no background colors, just want this to be the same as what our, uh, what our standard kind of look is. So we can leave the width section as, as none if, if we want. Or actually, no, we have, this one here is, is nice, slightly wider than the content area. Uh, 
and I'll put a background color of, you know, I like the yellow, I'll put a background color of alt. We could leave all these as, as, as none. And if, if we do that, then it'll be what we currently have on, on, on all of our websites. So slightly wider than the content area. And this is a one column layout here. And I'm gonna put in uh, my text again. I'll put in two paragraphs. So there we go. Actually, I, I might need to zoom out a little small bit here. Yeah, so you can see now that this top one here goes the full width of the whole screen. This one here is the background color is the full width of the screen, but the content is only uh, um, the same as content area. This one here stays within the content area. And the last one then, the content goes slightly wider than the content area. Um, and that's that, that's it. It's, it's, it's very simple, um, but it, 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 it can be extended very easily then by, by your editors or by your uh, site builders and themers if they want to add in more options for either how wide it is or more background colors or maybe gradients or background images and things like that. Uh, we, we've just built kind of a strong core for it. So that, that will hopefully be coming to local gov Drupal very soon. And specifically, this actually feature will, is being built for the microsites, but we decided to uh, backboard it to local gov core so everyone can use it. And then microsites will, will get it as well. And uh, huge thanks to Maria for helping me figure out the nuances of how we're going to solve that.